So, dear friends, we enter into this time of guided reflection in an easy and gentle state of mind. So, you know, assume the position that feels the most comfortable for you, whether you're seated or perhaps those online are lying down. Or just relax. Whatever you're doing, just relax. Any baggage that you started the day with, you can let it go. It'll be there when we're done if you want to pick it back up. Maybe you won't. I invite us all to take a great big deep inhale and exhale breath and let it all out with a sigh. Inhale. Oh, yeah. Feel your shoulders drop a tad, if you will. And be open, be open to the voice within. Be open to the ideas that go beyond words and come from a place that is beyond logical thought. And simply be. Be aware of what it is we hear in the silence. Perhaps we feel in this relaxed state our hearts beating the air moving through our mouth or through our nostrils, in and out, sustaining us without any thought of, of doing so. It just happens, doesn't it? In this time of quiet reflection, I invite you to simply just let it happen. I invite us each to be aware of our hands. Perhaps wiggle your fingers just a bit. Good morning, hands. Thank you for all you do for me. I invite you to be aware of the sensation of touch that your hands bring to you, wherever they are now. Feel the touch. Without telling them to bring that feeling to us, it comes, doesn't it? Think of all the handles that your hands have touched to open possibilities. Think of the creativity our hands have brought to our lives. The ability to bring us employment. The ability to shake hands. Such a gift. 
Today I am grateful for my hands. Not simply during this time of reflection, I invite us all. Each time we touch a handle today. To be aware of the sensation and the good work our hands do for us. Our hands. When we offer to give someone a hand, think of what we're offering. So much. So much that we may have taken for granted and now we realize and give thanks for. Thank you for my hands. Thank you. Throughout this day, let us use our hands to express that power of God in us. Serving ourselves and the greater community at large. Today we are aware of the gift of our helping hands. And so it is. Amen.